put it on a make a wanna marry me. Hey, <laughs> y'all are crazy. <laughs> so anyway, um, what else did I want to tell you? Okay, so let me tell you guys um a little bit about the show. So Boss Moves is really giving you like a real inside look on like how Kirk and I really run our businesses, how we try to hold it together. It ain't all perfect. It ain't all gravy all the time. How we deal with the day-to-day -day aspects of all of that, giving you information on things you should do, things you shouldn't do, or things that we did and that we shouldn't have done. Just giving advice, throwing bones to you guys. I have my friends on who have businesses and we talk about our stories, give you guys information. It's helpful tips that you'll be able to take home home and write down have for yourself every single time you watch any episode of boss moves and it's it can apply to any area of business that you know that you're trying to you might be just starting a business and need a little bit of advice and we I'll pop some information up for you that's going to be very helpful for you. You may have been in business for years and there's questions that we're able to answer to um, help you guys out but it's um, definitely, you know, something different, something I'm extremely proud about because I want people to really get to see how things really go down the day to day of how we maneuver things around. And it's not all glitz and glam, you know, stuff gets a little ratchet and a little ugly sometimes and it doesn't work and things fall apart and all that type of stuff. So you get to really see how that really, really works. Um Yes, and I do give fashion tips, but I also give like there's so many women out here who have like online boutiques and physical stores and all that type of stuff. Not to say they're not successful. They are successful, but there's information that they can get from me. Hopefully information I can get from them from the beginning all the way through to a six successful store. You know, it's just tips and information, fashion tips on, you know, things you should have, must haves you, you need to make sure you have as a fashionista and all that good stuff. So I'm totally excited um, to, you know, be able to share this with you guys and be able to do this. I like this question that Kay Kelsey, Kel, Kelsey asked is, how do you motivate yourself to get started, to get started elevating? You know what? It does come from within and it's the desire to want to grow and be better. Like I'm a, person who believes that you should want to be better than you were yesterday. Work on trying to execute and make sure you're doing exactly what you say you're going to do, trying to accomplish your goals and dreams. And when it comes to that, you got to be disciplined and, you know, you got to be, you know, driven and, you know, you don't wake up every day feeling like it. That's just like trying to lose weight and having to go work out every day. You don't feel like getting up and doing it. But if you do it, and then once you start getting the results, you're like, shit, I'm going to keep doing this. This is lit. I'm seeing results. I've lost 10 pounds and it motivates you to want to keep going. So as you are trying to push forward and elevate, you start to reap the benefits and you're like, hey, I want more of this. So that's um, what kind of keeps me going. I seen your food from the bistro and it looks so good. Well, thank you. And hopefully you can come eat with us um, anytime you come to Atlanta. If you don't live here, we're open Thursday through Sunday. Oh, and for all my moms out there, make sure you come to Frost Bistro this Sunday at Mother's Day. We're going to have some free champagne, some free dessert for the moms so y'all can come hang out with us. Um, Hey, Mississippi is in the building. Thank you for coming through. I love you guys back too. Thank Be you. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, so people were asking about how much it is, how much um, Philo subscription is, and it's $25 a month. So it's so, such a good, it's such a good um, price because you get live channels like 60 regular channels, live channels. It's like VH1, MTV, BT, bunch of channels like that. But what's lit is you can DVR unlimited. So whatever you miss, you can just record, 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 and then go back and watch um, everything. So it's, it is it is inexpensive, but you get the bang for your buck. I'm going to tell you that now. Um, Yeah, it is. Exactly, Danica. You're absolutely right. <laughs> Um, yes, kids are, are loud in our restaurant. I'm answering, trying to answer everybody's question. 
um, up until seven. And after seven, then it's 21 and up. Happy Mother's Day to you too. Yes, Philo is lit, see? Where can they go see it, babe? What? Where do they subscribe to see it? Babe, you, and look, he didn't came in. Look, he didn't he didn't came go. in at the end of the at the end. What's we didn't been on live, no, and sure. I didn't told y'all fifty times to go to philo okay, TV forward slash boss moves. Okay. Yes, and I ha also had to let them know that philo is P H I L O yeah. philo. Um, hey, happy Mother's Day to all you amazing moms out there. I really appreciate the love. I totally do. Speaking of Mother's Day, my babies are outside playing catch. So I'm I'm anticipating that they're gonna do something special this weekend for dear old mommy. Kirk, they saying what's up? What's up? Right, came in late. Ain't that right, girl? He came in late trying to tell us. Exactly. What's up, New York? <laughs> they like, what's up, Kirk? Hmm. I Say came hi. in late because I'm outside playing catch with Carter and Kai. Okay. And you know, but I was watching your live and I was seeing people saying, well, how do we, where do we go? Where do we subscribe? And I was coming to tell you. Oh yeah. Tell them where to go. I told them already. Lingo, Look, lingo. they said hi. They said hi. Guys. What's up? <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> What's up? Okay. Um, <laughs> um, so what else? Um, okay. So tomorrow you guys mm -hmm. do not forget. What's up, Oklahoma? Okay, wait, let me see. What num what's your number one advice to an up and coming artist who's also starting a business and balancing family? Um the my number one advice would be um honestly, you know what? I have a problem now with the word balance, okay? <laughs> because it's hard to get that balance because everyday life things happen all the time, everyday different things. So my thing is like when it comes to trying to juggle and figure out, you know, how to make all those things happen, you have to learn how to prioritize certain things. You know, family, of course, is first. You know, you, 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 you love your family. You want to take care of your family. And then when it comes to your career, you want to give it your all and be dedicated. So you just got to find that space to where you're able to do both. And a lot of times, you know, it just becomes discipline. Like for an example with myself, when, you know, I did music, I was on Love and Hip Hop doing television. I, I still do music, let me hear Kirk in the background. Um, and then also started my website, pressedatl.com. I had to treat that business like a real job, get up and put a schedule together to be like, okay, I'm working nine to five on my website, like business hours. Okay. If I'm going in the studio, I'm starting at five 30 or six o'clock, or I'm in the studio in the morning before 9.00 AM before the business day starts. Cause I really like to write songs early in the morning. So I might be up at six 30 writing a song in the morning. But, yes, babe. Look, you're like, he yes, he's he want to ignore me. No. He want to ignore me. No. Okay, he wants look, to interrupt me. No, I was going to say, here's the great thing. On Boss Move, you have a whole segment about this. Of course. Like, you have a segment talking about the business, talking about music, the industry, how you didn't quit, what kept you going, and what you got to do to make it and win. Right. Which is good. I'm just saying, you're actually talking about this in one of your episodes. Oh, yeah, definitely. So, so, but yes. advice is never quit. Never give up. Believe in yourself and work hard for yourself harder than others will. You got to work hard for yourself. If you don't do that, it's hard to get somebody to get behind you. So I always say never quit. But the episode is going to be amazing. Yeah, that, definitely. We definitely have an episode about that. But to answer that question, you know, you got to figure out what's going to work best for you. But you really got to have the drive and the motivation, the determination and the focus to do everything. So if you're going to play around, don't play with yourself. Don't lie to yourself. But if you're going to be serious, then get focused, figure out a plan, something that works for you and start to execute because it starts right here. It starts within, boo. It starts within.